Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video and tuning in to see what I'm about to do with this wig from Wiggins Hair. This is their 24 inch curly lace frontal wig and here I'm just checking out the hairline which is beautiful but the lace is way too light for my skin. So of course I'm going to go in with my face powder that I've basically hit pan on and I'm going to tint the lace on this wig. I did go in and bleach the knots but it just didn't tint the lace at all so now i'm having to go in with some face powder um, and tint the lace and then once i have this makeup all over my lace i'm going to go in with the got to be glue hairspray and i'm going to secure that powder into the lace to make sure it doesn't go anywhere And with today's wig, I am going to do a curve C part, or at least I'm going to try to attempt a curve part. And as you can see, adding a little bit of makeup to the lace definitely adds more color and allows the lace to blend more in with your skin if your lace is a little bit on the light side, even after bleaching. Now you can buy like um, lace tinting product, but I don't like to use it because it's just really too messy, but maybe I just don't really know how to properly use it who knows but I'm gonna use what normally works for me so here I'm just cutting off the ear tabs around the lace and I did go in and pluck the hairline in case anybody is wondering this wig did come with a pre-plucked hairline however it was still way too thick for my liking so I'm going to continue <laughs> to try to get this curved C part because honey it ain't working right now and then of course I'm gonna go in with some wax stick with some wax stick with a wax stick and smooth out the hair as smooth as possible and i'll be back even know why I even do this to y'all or even myself I always be like okay I'm not even gonna do no baby hairs on this wig and then I end up pulling out a section and it'd be like girl do a baby hair right here just right here and I end up doing way more baby hairs than what I actually was supposed to do so I'm not gonna do any drastic baby hairs on this look but I do have to do something to this hairline because some of the knots on this wig still did not bleed Bleach. even after I went in twice to try to um, bleach the knots it just would not do it so I didn't want to continue to over process the lace because if you add too much bleach and you do it too much you can rip and destroy the lace so I have to do I'm just gonna do some edges girl okay let's just call it edges let's not even do the baby hairs okay let's just do edges so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna swoop and do my thing and I'll be back Okay, so I was true to my word. Like I said, I wasn't going to do any drastic baby hairs. I was just going to create, you know, some edges for the wig to make it look a little bit more natural. So once I got my hairline exactly how I want it to be, of course, I'm going to go in with these Rapid Junior hair strips. Basically, this helps mold your hairline. It also helps with making sure the wig stays down while you are styling the wig. Now, I do prefer to go on top of that piece of fabric or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, girl, whatever. Uh, I'll go on top with a head scarf and I tie that down, especially if you're going to be wetting your hair. I think this is very important because you don't want the water to get on the lace, which then is going to pretty much much mess up your hard work and if you're anything like me when it comes to baby hairs girl it takes me a couple of tries to get it exactly how I want it to be so I don't want to mess that up wow. 
So before I add any water to this wig, I did go in and detangle using a paddle brush. And this is how much hair I got after I detangled this hair. This hair is very full and thick to be a 24 inch. Um, however, once I wet the hair, which is only using water, I did not like how this wig became very thin and it had no curl pattern whatsoever. It was more so like a very loose wave as you can see here in this clip so I did go in with some curling cream um, maybe that would help with defining the curls and giving it you know more life but right now it is doing absolutely nothing so I would not wear this wig like wet all over like this I am going to let it dry and I'll be back So the hair is completely dry, which I want to make sure before I apply any other type of product, especially going behind product with heat because I do not want to fry the hair or fry my hair that's underneath this wig. So I am going in with some, I think it's Icy um, Spritz, and then I'm going to follow up with the Icy um, Oil Sheen, and then I'm going to apply more heat and just try to get the top of this wig to be as flat and smooth as possible. So like I said, I'm not wearing this wig in its wet state because I just don't like it. It's super ugly, to be honest. I like this wig a little better with the texture being more fuller and the waves being um, combed out. So yeah, that's what I really should say. Like this is not a curly wig. This is more so like a wavy wig and it looks so much better when you comb out the waves instead of like wearing it in its like wet stage. So anyways, this is the wig. Hope you guys like. Everything will be below in the description bar. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.